Welcome to Lexigen's technical video series. Today we are talking tips and techniques for magnetic bead purification. Magnetic bead purifications are included in all of Lexigen's QuantSeq, Coral, and Sense library prep protocols, both before and after PCR amplification. The purification module with magnetic beads is stored at 4 degrees. The purification module contains purification beads, purification solution, and elution buffer. 80% ethanol is also required for the bead washing steps. This should be prepared fresh each time. Before starting the purification protocol, equilibrate the purification reagents to room temperature for at least 30 minutes. The purification beads will settle over time. Make sure these are fully resuspended before use. Make sure your libraries are at room temperature before starting the purification especially if the cDNA was stored at minus 20 degrees between steps. Add the purification beads to the samples. The PB solution is viscous, so pipette carefully and mix thoroughly. Resuspend the beads fully in the sample until the mixture is homogeneous. Incomplete mixing can result in reduced yields. After mixing is complete, incubate the samples for 5 minutes at room temperature. Place the samples on the magnet for 2 to 5 minutes, or until the beads have collected and the supernatant is completely clear. Once the supernatant is clear, remove and discard the supernatant. Avoid touching the beads with the pipette to prevent bead loss. If the beads are taken up during pipetting, place the supernatant back into the well and wait for the beads to collect again. Then, remove the clear supernatant. It may be necessary to use a microvolume pipette to remove any remaining liquid. Add the elution buffer to the beads and mix well to ensure the beads are fully resuspended. Do not place the samples on the magnet at this step. After EB is added, the library is eluded off the beads back into solution. Removing the supernatant at this point will result in a loss of library. Place the samples back at room temperature to incubate for two minutes. The purification solution is viscous. Pipette slowly to ensure the volume is accurate and wipe off any excess from the pipette tip before adding it to your sample. Mix the samples thoroughly after adding PS. Incubate for 5 minutes at room temperature. Place the samples back on the magnet for 2 to 5 minutes, or until the supernatant is completely clear. The beads are then washed with 80% ethanol. To prevent yield loss at this step, keep the samples on the magnet and avoid pipetting the ethanol directly over the beads.
incubate for 30 seconds after adding ethanol. Then remove the ethanol and repeat the wash once more for a total of two washes. Use a micro volume pipette and remove as much ethanol as possible. Leftover traces of ethanol may inhibit the PCR reaction and will result in lower yields. Dry the beads at room temperature and check visually every couple of minutes. Once you see the surface appears matte and no liquid droplets are visible, you can proceed to elution. Be careful not to over dry the beads. Bead cracking can lead to reduced yields. To elute the libraries, keep the samples on the magnet and pipette the EB directly onto the beads. If the beads stick to the side of the well, pipette the EB over the beads several times and use the pipette tip to push the beads down into the buffer. Mix well until the solution is homogeneous. Place the samples at room temperature to incubate for two minutes. Place the samples back on the magnet for two to five minutes or until the supernatant is completely clear. Transfer the clear supernatant containing the library to a fresh tube or plate. Setting the volume to 17 microliters will help prevent bead carryover. The eluted libraries can be safely stored at minus 20 degrees at this point. Here is a quick recap of the main tips for Lexigen's magnetic bead purification. Equilibrate the purification reagents and samples to room temperature before starting. Prepare fresh 80% ethanol before you begin. Always add PB to the samples, not the other way around. Mix thoroughly after adding PB, EB, and PS. Leave the samples on the magnet for the ethanol washes and avoid over drying the beads. Remove the ethanol completely with a pipette. Pipette EB directly onto the beads for elution. Thanks for joining us. For more tips, check out the other technical videos on our website or contact us at infolexygen.com. At